one, and we're finally changing it to good morning because I'm always saying good evening. This is Angela Basilico, the CEO for Miss International World, and also Make Our World Your Runway. And before I start my show, I always like to make a few announcements. We want to invite all our viewers to subscribe to the Global Trade Chamber YouTube channel so that you can see all the shows from Make Our World Your Runway and also success stories. And you're probably wondering why we've got a different venue today. Well, we are here for the 2023 East International World Pageant at the beautiful Hilton Gardens Inn in Port St. Lucie. And I have two co-hosts with me today. My first co-host, Melina Rodriguez, who was our former Miss International World Supermodel and was also a top model of the year for Supermodels Unlimited Magazine. And a lady that never needs any introduction, as I always say, has that Magical hammer over my head, our coordinators, the speed of Patel. Okay. So, ladies, what do you think about what's going on this weekend? Honestly, to me personally, I am super excited and I'm so proud of all the girls because a lot of them have been preparing themselves very, very hard for an entire year and they're here to give all of it. And I am just here for the entire show, to be honest. So, I am so happy and excited to see what is going to happen and who's going to take the crown on. Oh, absolutely. And I think um, one thing I know you're excited about is being on the flip side so you can enjoy it a little bit. Like you're observing and seeing where you were before and where you are now, right? And it's amazing because this is something that um, all the girls get to see that past this international world, whether uh, you won a title or not, you're still currently a winner, right? You, you made it this far. And so you hold your title. That doesn't mean it stops right there. You continue and you grow the it shows. So that's what really like we empower and we want to show. And um, as you saw, you know, from the interview with the show, one of the key things everyone's been saying is that you know it's empowering, it's diverse, it's inclusive, um, it's thrilling, the sisterhood, and more. So that's the best part. And it really is um, one of the things that. Angela has taken upon herself for years and it's just been growing and it, it's amazing. I've been here since 2016 That's and even if I'm like, oh, you know what, I'm going to pull away a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I have a tether. Yes. tether of you just pulled me back, you know. But no, it's amazing and it's been, it's been an honor working next to you. So. Oh, no. And you know, there's one thing that I always like to say. Everything you do, you never do alone. I could not do it without these two ladies. You know, people a lot of times when they get awards and things, and they stand up there and they take all the credit. I always say, never take all the credit, because you're only as great as the people that are surrounding you. And I like to do things impromptu, which I think most of my viewers know. I'm going to invite somebody up here who's been with me for years. We could not do this without him. He's a veteran actor. He makes the whole show. Lamont Easter, you need to come up and be on Make Our World in Broadway. Now we're going to turn the floor over to Lamar. This is great. you guys. It's, it's so nice to be back with you. And you're, you're so right. Seeing returning ladies come back that were wearing the crown and see their growth and see their platforms and their voice. It's absolutely, absolutely amazing. And this one here, we, we, you're right. We, we could not do it without her. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you. So this is going to be a fantastic year. Looking forward to it. Um, the ladies, the competition looks great. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing about all the ladies' platforms um, and what they have to offer and what their aspirations are and where they hope to go and what platforms they, they, they plan to carry forward and, and open their voices. And you know we can never do a show without you. That's why every year I always say, what things do you have open? Because if you're not here, we're not here. Angela, <laughs> Angela calls, I'm there. That is right, Ed. exactly. You love it. And you know, another thing that we need to recognize is always the media, okay? Because I always say the media are the most important people in what we do. So we have Jerry Garcia from Garcia Media behind the camera, okay? And of course, our photographer, Carlos, is definitely on his way. And we have Bill Henry coming tomorrow. So the media is a very important part of any, any show that we do, okay? And we had Kyle that put the stage together yesterday. And Rose from the Hilton has been absolutely amazing. Am I forgetting anybody? Uh, Elmer, who is also oh, Elmer, part of yes. the Garcia Media. Um, he's been phenomenal. When, when you guys see the stage, it's a transformation. Um, it is unbelievable. The lighting, the sound, everything, the technical aspect 
aspect of it. Um, I am super grateful from the coordinating aspect of it because this year it's actually been just quite smooth. And these three lots here, um, they can actually, you know, um, back, back it up saying like, oh my gosh, you're actually not stressed. I don't see you running around. Um, so that was the first thing they noticed. And I'm like, yeah, you know, uh, it's, it's been amazing. Like, I'm working with an amazing media team. So definitely shout out to the every match. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. So, you know, and we also want to thank our directors, you know, Tony from the Bahamas, okay, and uh, Jerron Smith, okay, from Uruguay, and of course, we cannot forget Dr. Rekshat the Prabhu from the International Glamour Project, who sent us so many lovely ladies. And of course, a big shout out to all the ladies, because we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. And I do have to thank Maria uh, Davila, okay, for allowing me to have Make Our Lunch Runway, produced by the Global Trade Chain. Uh, you know, we were talking about the Lux Salon. Yeah, the Lux okay. Salon, um, they are our hair and makeup sponsors. So on the final night, when they can come, they just come out for the evening wear competition. Um, you'll be seeing them all planned up, all thanks to Lux Salon. So big shout out to them. Yep, absolutely. Big shout out to them. And again, like I said, we could go on and on and on. But we were talking about the entertainers. We're so lucky to have Stephen Avi, okay? He's a world violinist. World renowned violinist, I should say. He's amazing, he's coming back. Miss Ike, who's amazing, she's going to be doing a lot of songs of the 70s and the 80s, which brings me back to Studio 54, but we won't get into that subject right now. Okay? No, let's get into that. Oh, you want to get into Studio 54? Okay. Well, the other night I was at, oh, I got to give a big shout out to Winterfest because they've been a big supporter of this international world pageant. And the other night they had their kickoff event. Uh, which a couple of ladies went with me and they had Grandmaster Flash and you know he was back in the studio 54. So Al walks in a little late as usual, you know, because all the nation keeps him busy. And here's me on the floor, you know, doing this, okay? And I'm like, yeah, Studio 54, you know, and I'm half the clothes and coming on. There's no other place. You know, that's what I heard. crazy. And as I always say, when that place burned down, I hope they moved the statue to me because I live there. Friday night, Saturday night, whatever night you can think of, okay? After a while, the balance has got to know that Angel's here, let her in, okay? I mean, every celebrity in the world is there, okay? You know, I was lucky enough to dance with Andrew Warhol, okay? So, that was my past, okay? I don't even want to get into some of the things I've done there, okay? <laughs> but this is supposed to be a family show, okay? <laughs> But no, we're gonna find it. Yeah, it really was a great time, okay? So Ike's gonna bring us back to that era. And then we have uh, Sanchez and El Du that are gonna perform tonight. They're Latin um, international sensation, so you'll see them tonight. Right. They'll be back tomorrow night as well. And then we have the people from the Fred Astaire Dance Studio that are gonna dance with us on a Sunday evening, which I believe one of them also uh, dance with someone who happened to be uh, very famous. And then we do have a video from the Hina Amato Bach, okay, who just recently won the Alley Awards, okay, for uh, one of his media I did do from this Latina International Organization. And I have to say this, and we never get political, but there's three of us standing here that actually have lifetime achievement awards from President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. So I, I got it two years ago. These two wonderful people got it last year. Great reception. So, and I'm next. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and yes, my husband's standing on the other side. He got on, and of course, Dr. Pete Thompson will be here someday. Who will allow all of us to get that? So, we will continue later on. But, ladies and gentlemen, as I always like to say, lights, camera, action. Thank you so much for tuning in to make our world a runway. We'll see you a little later on.